Hey guys, welcome to my channel. When it comes to large-scale engineering, Chinese engineers have long been renowned for their impressive construction speed and astonishing projects, such as the Pingtang Bridge and Beipanjiang Bridge among others. We'll delve into these in detail in the upcoming video. Chinese engineers are like superheroes in the field of construction, actively contributing to their nation's infrastructure needs. Keeping up with the ever-growing population and rapidly advancing economy and technology, China has been at the center of the world's economic rise for the past few decades. With rapid economic and technological development, China's demand for infrastructure construction has continued to rise. This has earned China the reputation of being an infrastructure maniac on the international stage. This nickname is not meant pejoratively but reflects the awe and admiration of the American people for China's infrastructure development. We all know that since the 1990s, China has built some awe-inspiring skyscrapers, massive cities, and fast transportation networks. However, one lesser discussed aspect of China's rise is the construction of giant bridges, which is one of the country's most outstanding achievements in infrastructure. As of today, China boasts more than 1 million bridges, some of which break through geographical and technical barriers, providing unprecedented connectivity between different regions in this vast country. In this video, we'll explore China's large bridge projects and share the fascinating stories behind them. But before we proceed to show you these projects, we earnestly request you to subscribe and enable notifications so you won't miss our exciting updates. We value your thoughts and we invite you to share your views on these remarkable engineering achievements in the comments below. Bridges are marvels of human engineering, connecting different places, reducing travel time, and improving traffic efficiency. However, some bridges are awe-inspiring and frightening at the same time, hanging high above chasms or spanning turbulent seas. In this video, we'll take you to some of the most hair-raising bridges in China, uncovering their stories and secrets. Are you ready? Let's get started. First, we head to the Longjiang Suspension Bridge in Yunnan, China. This bridge connects the cities of Baoshan and Tingchong and stands at a height of 300 meters, equivalent to the height of a 100-story building. The bridge is located in a seismic zone with a history of strong earthquakes. To ensure the bridge's safety, engineers employed advanced seismic technologies and materials. But you can imagine the feeling of experiencing an earthquake on a bridge 300 meters high. It's bound to be hair-raising. Yet, that's just the beginning. We'll soon see even higher and more dangerous bridges. The Siju Bridge spans the Sita River, linking Inchi Tujia and Miao Autonomous Prefecture in Hubei Province with Fingjia County in Chongqing City, serving as a vital connection between China's central and western regions. It stretches approximately 2.5 kilometers and soars to a height of 560 meters, surpassing the Empire State Building in height. Constructing this bridge posed an immense challenge due to its location nestled between two towering mountains, spanning a deep and precipitous valley. Engineers even used rockets to launch the first cable across. After three years of grueling efforts, this bridge was finally completed. Driving on this bridge allows you to enjoy magnificent landscapes and a thrilling experience. But this is not the world's highest bridge. That title belongs to another Chinese bridge. It is the Beipanjiang Bridge. The bridge has a total length of 1,314.4 meters and is part of the Hongroe Expressway. It starts from Duj Town in Yunnan and reaches Laolong Village in Guizhou. 
In between, it spans the Niju River Grand Canyon, earning it the name Niju River Bridge. The completion of the Beipanjiang Bridge marked the full opening of the 3,404-kilometer long Hamroe Expressway. What sets it apart is its height above the river, standing at a staggering 565.4 meters, equivalent to the height of a 200-story building. In the world of bridges, it is considered the tallest. If a person were to fall from the bridge, it would take over 10 seconds to reach the ground, a terrifying prospect for anyone. Beipanjiang Bridge claimed the top spot in the world's highest bridge competition, setting a Guinness World Record in 2018. However, China didn't undertake the construction of this bridge for awards. It was done to facilitate local travel. The distance between Duge Town and Puli Township may be relatively short, but the challenging, mountainous terrain and absence of a direct road turn it into a four-hour journey, requiring travelers to traverse three mountain ridges and cover around 40 kilometers of mountain roads. However, with the completion of the bridge, the journey was reduced to just one or two minutes, greatly enhancing the convenience of travel between the two sides and promoting economic development in the region. Why was the bridge constructed at such a high relative altitude of 565.4 meters? The area where Beipanjiang Bridge is located, within the Yungui Plateau, features a karst landscape formed by the dissolution and deposition of soluble rock by underground and surface water. The fragile mountain structure in this region doesn't lend itself well to bridge construction. After a year of surveying and exploration, Chinese engineers determined that 565.4 meters was the optimal height to avoid caves and fissures. When planning the Beipanjiang Bridge, American engineers claimed that it would take China 3,000 years to complete. However, the bridge's construction began in 2013, and it was operational by the end of 2016, taking only four years. The bridge is made up of a pair of massive concrete towers, the tallest is 269 meters high. The 20,000-ton steel bridge deck is the length of five Titanic. One World Trade Center in New York could fit underneath. The deck is attached to the towers with 400 kilometers of cables, enough to stretch from London to Amsterdam. The Beipanjiang Bridge stretches 1.3 kilometers across the ravine. The tips of the towers reach 750 meters above the valley floor higher than two Eiffel Towers and the Statue of Liberty combined. During the construction of the Beipanjiang Bridge, Chinese engineers encountered numerous incredible difficulties and challenges. The first was the terrain, as the Beipanjiang Canyon had steep terrain and complex geology, making construction extremely difficult. The second challenge was extreme weather. Constructing a bridge in the southwestern region entailed addressing recurrent geological hazards, in addition to contending with severe weather conditions such as strong winds, dense fog, heavy rain, and freezing temperatures, which placed high demands on the bridge's ability to withstand these conditions. The primary question was what type of bridge to construct. Conventional beam bridges, arch bridges, and concrete cable-stayed bridges couldn't span the 670 meters of the Beipanjiang Canyon. Designers had to choose between steel truss bridges, cable-stayed bridges, and steel truss girder suspension bridges. Due to the fragile cliff slopes of the Karst region, which couldn't support the load of a suspension bridge, a cable-stayed bridge was ultimately chosen. To manage economic costs and environmental impacts, Chinese engineers designed the Beipanjiang Bridge as a double-tower cable-stayed bridge with a span of 720 meters. After the promising blueprint was created, the real challenges began. The U-shaped Niju River Canyon extended over 500 meters deep, making it impossible to transport the bridge sections, each weighing hundreds of tons, to the construction site. As a solution, designers divided each section into smaller units of around 10 tons and used reassembling and cantilever launching techniques. Furthermore, Chinese engineers had to use 224 strands of 15.2 mm diameter cables to support the weight of the entire bridge, a seemingly impossible task that was achieved with galvanized steel wire boasting a tensile strength of up to 1770 megapascals. To counteract corrosion of the cable stays from extreme weather, Chinese engineers added layers of galvanization, 
grease, and HDPE both inside and outside the stays, significantly extending their lifespan. On September 10, 2016, after overcoming numerous challenges, the Beipanjiang Bridge was officially completed. Would you dare to drive on this bridge? If you find this terrifying, stay tuned for even more spine-chilling bridges to come. The Jinshajiang Bridge, which crosses the Jinsha River in Yunnan. The main tower is 228 meters tall, with a vertical height of 479 meters, which is equivalent to the height of a 170-story building. The height from the bridge deck to the valley bottom is 335 meters, making it the second highest bridge in the world, surpassed only by the Beipan River Bridge. The Jinsha River Bridge is currently the world's largest cable-stayed bridge spanning a mountainous gorge, with a length of 1,386 meters, consisting of 128 steel truss segments. Each individual steel truss segment weighs a staggering 175 tons, which is equivalent to the weight of over 100 family cars. The bridge's two main cables are composed of 42,000 high-strength galvanized steel wires, with a total length of 87,000 kilometers, enough to encircle the Earth twice. When it comes to the world of bridges, China's achievements are not just bragging. China's bridge construction technology is truly incredible. Next, we visit the Lzijiang Bridge, a giant bridge that stretches 798 meters across a treacherous mountain valley. While its length may not compare to some of the other super bridges in this video, the Luoji River Bridge is considered an engineering marvel. It holds the record as the world's longest single-tower suspension bridge, distinguishing itself from bridges of similar length with its sole tower, while the remaining structure is supported by cables from a distance. This bridge appears as if it's defying gravity, hanging in mid-air without visible support. Furthermore, this bridge was constructed in challenging terrain, extending from a 156-meter tall tower to an anchor point at the far end of a tunnel, all on a steep slope with a 54-degree incline, setting the world record for the steepest tunnel anchor point. Despite its complexity, this bridge plays a crucial role in remote areas, becoming a key component of the 190-kilometer-long U2 expressway that connects Yunnan to major centers like Shanghai. Previously, navigating this valley took over an hour, but the Lzijiang Bridge reduced that time to just two minutes, allowing vehicles to travel at speeds of up to 80 km per hour on the four-lane bridge. This complex megaproject started in 2019 and was completed in three years. This bridge has significantly improved the underdeveloped infrastructure in the mountainous regions of China, promoting economic and transportation connections in the surrounding areas. It has played a crucial role in advancing tourism and economic development in the central Yunnan region. Next, we arrive at the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, located between the Chinese provinces of Guangdong and Hong Kong and crossing the South China Sea. It holds the record as the world's longest sea-crossing bridge, stretching 55 kilometers and curving like a dragon above the sea. This bridge not only connects the major cities of Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau but also promotes economic and cultural exchanges. However, its construction has been fraught with controversy and risks. During construction, nearly 20 workers lost their lives, and there was a scandal involving falsification of concrete quality. Additionally, American engineers questioned whether this bridge could withstand the impact of strong winds and huge waves. Although these allegations were officially denied, the safety of this bridge remains a subject of debate. Our journey is not over yet. We're about to show you a bridge that is nothing short of breathtaking. The Qishui River Bridge, another super bridge constrained by extreme geographical conditions, spans over 2,000 meters, connecting the provinces of Sichuan and Guizhou, with a peak height of approximately 350 meters. Constructing this bridge posed a major challenge due to the limited access to the construction site on the Sichuan side, where cliffs made it impractical for most heavy equipment traditionally employed in bridge construction to reach the area. Thus, engineers decided to build the bridge deck off-site and later transport it in three segments to the gorge. They used 158 cables to support the bridge deck, ensuring its proper placement using 3D visualization technology. 
the construction budget for this bridge was just $147 million, far lower than some of the astonishing super bridges we'll mention shortly. Then there's the Bailing River Bridge, a cable-stayed steel box girder bridge located above the Bailing River in Guizhou. Completed in 2017, it spans 1,080 meters with a vertical height from the bridge deck to the valley floor of 370 meters, equivalent to 120 stories, making it the world's eighth highest bridge. Next, we visit the Guazigu Bridge in Xinjiang, which is Xinjiang's first cable state and highest bridge. It is the largest and most important bridge in Xinjiang, as well as China's first road steel truss cable stayed bridge. Considered a miracle of infrastructure construction in Xinjiang, the Guasigu Bridge spans approximately 700 meters, with the bridge deck height above the valley floor of about 200 meters. The entire main bridge is constructed using steel truss technology, with 17,000 tons of specialized bridge steel and high-strength bolt connections instead of traditional welding. Precision during installation had to be maintained within 2 millimeters, costing about $3.4 million per meter, with a total cost of $2.39 billion. In constructing the Guazigu Bridge, groundbreaking technologies were applied, such as large volume concrete temperature control, tower and beam asynchronous construction processes, hydraulic jacking, and self-moving templates, establishing valuable experience in constructing highways in mountainous areas. The Guasigu Bridge boasts a spectacular and unique design. Its S-shaped structure winds through the valley, surrounded by towering peaks and colorful flowers. Driving across this bridge feels like being in a painting. Finally, we arrive at the Aizhai Bridge, a cable-stayed steel box girder bridge located above the Aizhai River in Hunan. Completed in 2016, it stretches 1,176 meters with a vertical height from the bridge deck to the valley floor of 336 meters, ranking it as the world's ninth highest bridge, following the Beipanjiang Bridge, the Jinshajiang Bridge, and the Balu River Bridge. The long dragon-like main span resembles a great sword piercing the clouds, and it appears as a rainbow bridge, connecting the picturesque landscapes on both sides of the valley. The two towering 206-meter-tall main towers serve as the guardians of the bridge, especially dazzling at night. The cable length and height of the bridge deck above the ground also reach the world's peak. These accomplishments showcase the unwavering spirit of Chinese engineers and their relentless pursuit of the unknown. The Aizhai Bridge goes beyond human imagination, incorporating elements of harmony between people and nature, tradition and modernity. It embodies the courage of Chinese engineers in innovation and conveys respect for nature. It will undoubtedly become a lasting human miracle, inspiring future generations to stay true to their original aspirations and promote a positive cycle of harmonious development with nature. Standing on the observation deck at 200 meters high, you can not only witness the magnificent landscapes but also contemplate the harmonious coexistence of humans and nature. These are the most hair-raising bridges in China that we've shared with you. China's bridge projects are undeniably magnificent spectacles, transforming not only the country's domestic transportation and economic landscape but also showcasing China's extraordinary strength in bridge construction technology and innovation. These bridges are not just transportation facilities. They symbolize the relentless pursuit and innovation of the Chinese people, symbolizing the unyielding spirit of exploration in the face of challenging projects. China's bridge construction not only brings invaluable experience domestically but also inspires other countries to actively catch up with China's leading position in infrastructure development. Chinese engineers continue to break technological barriers by building enormous transportation bridges. These bridges are crucial elements of China's vast road network, enabling efficient and rapid transportation. It's worth mentioning that many of the world's most challenging and record-breaking bridges were designed and constructed by Chinese engineers. China's commitment to infrastructure development has created a miracle that impacts the lives of over a billion Chinese citizens and drives domestic economic growth. These cases demonstrate the remarkable achievements China has made in bridge construction in recent years, garnering worldwide attention and setting a positive example for other countries. 
The extraordinary capabilities of China in bridge construction have convinced many Americans that China is a developed country. What are your thoughts on China's astounding capabilities in bridge construction? Which bridge left the deepest impression on you? We look forward to hearing your valuable thoughts and insights in the comments section. Finally, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.